What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Friday. I'm happy to say it's Friday. Honestly, when Same. it was coming out of my mouth, I had no idea what day of the week. What day it really was. Um, this was a, an upside down week. It was. Because um, we were so busy at the beginning of the week mm-hmm. visiting Abercrombie. Yeah, we doing were traveling. The whole thing. Yeah. Once again, just incredible trip incredible and i really do and we didn't get to mention the surprise bridal shower because we recorded before that happened yes when we ended our recording they threw us a surprise bridal shower um which was hilarious because we cut the cake together we really really cute and fran was like i mean they just had this like what so thoughtful it was so thoughtful we were both so surprised and you were like if we cut the cake together like we're really gonna feed in i was like come on feed yeah, into yeah, it with me yep, yep. grab onto this knife honey i know um no it was really cute the cake was amazing yeah it was, it was delicious it was and we got to meet fran yes and we met ceo fran of abercrombie yep. she was an angel a delight so cool. we actually got to sit down and, and talk with her um we thought you know oh we'll yeah. get to meet her but we actually it was got better to than sit expected. down and talk we yeah. totally had like a full we were because everyone was like, I mean, she's so busy, mm-hmm. and everyone was like, oh, we're just gonna bring you over to meet Fran like really quickly, and you know, just say hello. Yeah. She wants to meet you guys. We're like, oh my god, amazing! And we sat down for like thirty minutes with her, which was so nice. It was so cool, um, and just the partnership has been amazing. Yeah. And thank you to all of our wonderful listeners who support the partnership. Use the codes, ask us what we're wearing, and all of that fun stuff. We both got our new jeans on. We do both have our new jeans. New jeans. <laughs> New jeans. Your cute jeans. Your cute jeans. No, your cute jeans. <laughs> um, but yeah, you got. I I actually put on the ones that have that they embroidered for us, which are so cute you can't see, but I can. They are stand really up. cute. It says Fran on the back. On the they have like just a little yeah, it's so sick. So cute. It's so cool. Um, I almost wore mine that said Rhea, and I I, I, know. I, I did now, not. We'll we'll plan for that in the future. Yeah, but like that denim team was so cool. My friends were looking at um, the stories I posted and one of the girls that was like one of the denim designers, the one that was in that long mm-hmm. like denim coat, she was like, that coat is there. Everyone was like, that coat is so sick. So and sick. I was like, yeah, you know, you got that's denim designer. Like, yeah. they're, they're cool as fuck. You're, yeah, you're <laughs> going to be super fucking cool. Yep. If you have a wedding to attend soon, then you deserve to bless yourself and bless the party with an amazing dress, specifically from Abercrombie and their wedding shop. We just talked about how we went to Abercrombie HQ this week and we got to try on amazing dresses from the wedding shop. Loved loved the dresses a little sneak peek to what's coming in the fall as well so we know that we're gonna get some great honeymoon outfits from abercrombie and their wedding shop there is an entire best dress guest section with the most stunning dresses and jumpsuits and pants and everything for you to feel amazing in whatever you wear and the a and f wedding shop isn't just women's pieces for wedding guests either so if you have a man in your life who you want to also look Look like a million bucks you can shop the men's section as well in addition abercrombie is doing their famous and iconic dress fest sale from april 12th until april 15th so use code afcito15 once again that's afcito15 to get an additional 15 percent off all dresses in their wedding shop now so stock up on those dresses get dresses even if you think you don't need a dress you're gonna need one in the future so get them now from april 12th until april 15th use code afcito15 to get an additional 15% off all dresses in their wedding shop. You're going to Cabo this weekend. Holy shit. I'm like, I'm sweating in here. It's hot in here. Jealous of. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, Bachelorette. Another I feel like a broken record. Yeah. Everyone's like, here's another Friday Friday episode. Fred's talking about her weekend. She's going on a Bachelorette. Um, I am going to Cabo, which I am absolutely thrilled about. Really, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, never really been to Cabo. Like, I've flown to Cabo. You're saying that, like, as if everybody's been to Cabo. No, I just, I also have not been yeah, to Cabo. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel like Cabo is one of those places that everybody I, talks about. Yeah, or, I'd like, Mexico in general. Yeah, I've never yeah. even been to Mexico at all. Yeah. Um, I feel like people go to, like, Cancun yep. or Cabo's further. Tulum. Yeah. Cabo's far. Cabo is very far. So, mm-hmm. um, I, so we're flying to Cabo, staying in Cabo, uh, very excited to have you know full full week planned. I will not be here on Monday. Fran um, will not be here on yeah, Monday's episode. I won't. Now it's a 
it's a we have a Sunday night. I won't you know won't, won't share too many details because it's not my bachelorette. But we have a Sunday night dinner reservation at a place that I'm just like so excited. But yeah. it's gonna be rowdy. Right, you can't miss out on that. <laughs> no, no, no. And everyone, it's like it's weird. There's really not a lot of flights which we've talked about mm-hmm. with this because you were looking at Cabo for yeah. um you know a trip and yeah. down the line or whatnot but the like direct flights New York Cabo there's not that many of them yeah so the Monday there's like a Friday Monday so that's that's what we're that's what we're all doing right it's be so very exciting you're gonna have a fantastic weekend I'm jealous Cabo nice sun beautiful weather great food fun bachelorette um Monday's episode and it is a mix which I know yeah is can be so, controversial to some people I actually do want to get into this topic for a yeah. minute um but I, I do want to say Monday's episode oh yes go I have not decided um the options are endless. the the options are endless now should you have everyone vote maybe maybe everyone can like dm their opinion but then but then i'm gonna get too flustered yeah you know how i am so don't dm (laughs) no no do if you want but like noah and i were thinking like do i just run the show with noah's commentary on the side like just a little bros episode yeah like just just us two like you know talking pop culture talking about us say let's have people vote Big and, and they're like, like very no. against everyone's that. like oh my that. god that sounds right. like a terrible idea i know okay i know everyone's going to be upset you're not here which is obvious we are both yes. you know part of this show so you're the but listeners you, are just gonna have to accept the fact you'll that put together you being show. on the show is not an, not option. an option so you're gonna have to accept the fact so that it's either gonna be well the options are me and you mostly me um <laughs> and noah or I was going to ask somebody to join in, but would I get to sit in that chair? We've no, we, no we've we've never like done that before. Did Where, you hear him? No, I know it's he a joke. Sit in it's chair. A joke. My chair. I wouldn't want to would be... sit there. That'd be weird. No, no. Okay, you want to we'll sit talk. in my chair? Let's let's chat. Let's chat after this. <laughs> um, which I just think would be fun. You know, usually would, we have somebody would. fill in or whatever, but I just feel like it would be fun, different. Um, well, Lord knows I have enough to say. Yeah. So, um, fair. We we will like see. Still, d- still tune in, guys. Don't just not tune in just because it's me. Everyone's gonna <laughs> tune in. Um, I live in a constant, constant fear. I really, just bit back a joke. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna keep it. But. Um. It just almost came out. But yes, it is a joint bachelorette. It is well, a joint bachelorette. bachelorette. It's a, ba- it's a bachelor I, bachelorette. I do want to get into this topic because I will say. I picked out my wedding yes. dress today. Ah! That was the Addison Ray scream. Um, thank you for clapping, guys. I am <laughs> so excited. It was such a wonderful experience. Seamless. It was well, I had a I had a strong idea of what yeah. I wanted. I had a couple dresses saved um since this summer. Maybe before the summer. Um and I found I came across this place yeah. that had like my dream dresses, yep. and I, I did not think that was possible because um, they're not based in the U.S. So I just didn't yeah. think that would be possible. And we went, and I you know tried on the first dress that was like my dream dress, and and I loved it, and it seemed like you guys loved we it. We did so love it, yeah. It was Fran, my sister, my mom, and my future mother-in-law um, were all there, and everybody loved it, and everyone was yep. like, you know. It's a stunning dress. But when I picked the dress, yeah. I knew. Yeah. Immediate tears. Like, I, as soon as yes. I looked in the mirror wearing the dress, I started crying. And it was just like, it was just such a, you know, we're you know not going to give anything away, but it's just really such a flattering, perfect dress for you that it just made sense. Like, when once you put that dress on, it made sense. I mean, you really are one of the easiest brides like, how many dresses did you try on? Seven? Yeah. Like, that's it? Yeah. And you went home with two of them? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 went, I tried on seven, went home with like, two of them. Yeah. I am somebody who knows what they like. Yeah. In terms, yep, just yep. in life. like. Cl- and you did your research, too, because you're not really, like, a look at the rack, try things on. Like, you mm. know, you don't, you don't necessarily like to go into stores and shop. I feel like you never do. Not really. Like, like I, you're an I, online shopper. Yeah, I kind of just know what I want. And of course, I did pick out dresses because everyone says, you know, try on everything. And I did try did. on dresses that I, you know, did not have saved or, or wasn't planning on. And um, I mean, the dress I picked was not the one I thought I was going to pick. Yeah. Um, but literally immediate tears in the mirror, like couldn't hold myself back. 
I felt like my mom was very emotional. She was. Mother-in-law, sister, you, like everyone was. Um, I have a very funny video of you <laughs> with the dress on. And I just think like, your mom is holding on to Matt's mom and she's just like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it was It was honestly such a beautiful moment. It and was I'm very sweet. And I'm literally so excited. Like I could not contain no. my my face um no you look so so beautiful oh, thank you like i my for you put that dress on and and wa like kind of like walked around a little bit and i i i got goosebumps as we were walking because i started to picture matt watching you walk in that dress and i was like he might drop dead <laughs> like he could faint in the church to be quite honest like that's how that's how amazing it is oh. and how amazing you look like i was like he, I feel like he drops dead when you're like looking cute in like sweatpants. <laughs> yeah. So I like I'm, I'm, we. You should have like an ambulance outside know. just in case. Oh my god, that's so funny and and <laughs> so nice like, of you to the say. Paramedics but... need to be on call. I think. Um, he. We talked this morning before I went, and he was already tearing up on the Facetime, yeah. and I was like, "You, you have not. We're just talking about it." And he, he's just so adorable, and he's. It's gonna be so hard. Um, cause like we show each other everything, obviously, like you do, like yeah. they're your, your best friend. So it's like, you show each other everything, but this one big thing you cannot show. And yep. I made a promise to all of you that yep. I would not because nobody trusts me. No, you absolutely can't. I would never. I and don't want to. I wouldn't. wouldn't. I don't want to spoil that moment. Cause but I, I understand the dying need too, yeah. because also you, you look at the pictures of yourself in the, in your dress and it's like. Oh my God, like this is so amazing. I can't wait for this moment. Like, you want to, sh yeah. like, you're like, oh my God, look how beautiful this is. Like, you right. want to show them. Like, I, the way that I ha showed all my, like, all my friends, mm -hmm. my dress, whatever, after I had gotten mine, and I was in social, like, at, we were out, like, on a Saturday, and Joe was there, mm -hmm. and, he kept like walking by and he's like, are you guys done talking about the dress yet? Like, I want to, I want to talk. Like, no, yeah. no one's talking to me. Cause right. I, we were like, no, you can't, you can't see. Exactly. You can't even hear our reactions. Like, no, you can't even hear what everybody's right. saying. So, exactly. Um, it's so but hard. It's, it is, it but is tough because the, all you want to do is be like, don't I look so pretty? Right. Like, <laughs> like you want to have the moment twice, but, yeah, yeah, oh, but yeah. no, like we're no. not doing a first look or anything like that. I don't think you are either. I, I actually am. Oh, you are? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought you said no the other day. I, because I don't, I did? Yeah, I think you might have changed. I'm, maybe maybe you did change or it. Or maybe I just wasn't listening to your question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very honest answer. You know? That's a very honest um, answer from you. Yeah, uh, because, yeah. Because, no, just the way, I wish I, I wish I could not do it. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I love the traditional idea. And yeah. this is also why I'm saying have the paramedics on deck. Um I hope your priest knows math about it. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> because the just the way the timing of the day and where where I want to take pictures, mm -hmm. there's just no way we can get back to that place. Right. It, after we get married. Mm -hmm. Like it's very, you know, cocktail hour. Yeah. I mean, ceremony into cocktail hour into mm -hmm. into um reception and all everything's in one place right now i'm really giving giving some details yeah. but everything is in one place so it's like i don't really want to have to get back like mm -hmm. on the bus and leave yeah. and come back and like that that's a sense. whole thing and the like everything is beautiful where it is like mm -hmm. we could just take pictures there and be fine but there isn't really a spot to go that would be like totally private yeah there's always there no matter what like people could see us right so I do want to have like moment beforehand for us to like take yeah. pictures, and then you can really go. enjoy your cocktail party and, yes. and all of that. Don't yes. have to worry about the pictures. Yes. And um, you know me, like uh, my cocktail. Uh, everyone said jokes like people say like, "Oh, they're you know everyone's so excited for the cocktail hour and whatever." I am just like my one big thing. I was like, I want a killer raw bar at my yeah. wedding. Oh you know? yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that yeah, raw bar. Right. You can't miss out on that. And I'm not missing out on the no, raw bar. No, absolutely not. <laughs> not you, need your, you need your oysters. You need not, your shrimp cocktail. Exactly. I'm not missing out on my raw bar. So we are we are going to do it first. Yeah. Look. yeah. Well, I think that's beautiful either way. I think yeah. whatever it's anybody wants totally, to do it, however totally. it ends up. Um, totally. We're not doing first look, just traditional yeah. down the aisle, um, which I'm very excited for. And 
So I did want to talk about the topic of like doing things traditionally versus not traditionally because yeah. I feel like I feel like this time like brides are now making things the way they want them to be. Like yeah. I feel like for a long time people did things the way that they thought they should be and what their family and friends thought they should be. Um and one of those things for me is bridal parties. Yeah. So today I gave my sister um her gift to be my matron of honor, which by the way is tricky. Like she's my matron of honor, not not maid of honor. Yeah. You want to say maid of honor, but it's matron yeah, of matron. honor. She's, she's married. married. Yep. And just had a child. Yep. Um and I gave her like her her gift um I was gonna wait. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That if you're married, you're not. If you're married, you're no more. longer a maid. Yeah, it's matron. You're a matron. Wow, I guess right. that makes sense. Wait, yeah. so like, if you're married and you're a bridesmaid, are you a bridesmaid? A bridesmaid? No, I think matron? you're just a bridesmaid. You know, that's actually a very good, <laughs> it's question, a good question, Noah. Though. Um, and I've never really thought yeah. of it. And technically, you might be, but quite inquisitive. I think everyone does just say <laughs> right, bridesmaid. bridesmaid. So I gave her that because um, I thought it was like so cute to do it on theme with shopping for the dresses. But Matt and I came to the decision that we are not doing a bridal yeah. party because it was <laughs> no. Fran no. knows <laughs> she knows she is very much included yeah, in everything. Yeah. She's honorary bridesmaid. She will be uh. included in everything. I'm still doing a bachelorette party. Of course, he's still doing a bachelor party. Um, I talk to my. I'm very, getting ready with you, whether you want yeah, me to or no, not. No, no, she. So. No, I want her to know that she is yeah, like yeah. she's aware of this. Um, but it was starting to get very out of hand yeah. um, with the amount of people that we would need to include in our bridal party. Yep. It was getting very out of hand. I felt like for you guys, it was either we do none or we have to have like 15. No, like it no was that's like, what it, yeah, it was. Either yeah. we're not doing it or yeah. there's going to be uh, 15 or more. Yeah. Um, and that started to stress us both out yeah. because we both very much care about making our friends and family very happy um and we don't want to leave anybody out and we yep. care about everybody's emotions and and we had a conversation where we were like okay we know this isn't traditional but what if it's just my sister as the matron of honor because i have one sister and matt has one brother i do have a brother but i'm just saying in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm not leaving a sister out yes, and he's yes, not leaving a brother yes, out yeah. um and your brother is best man yep and that's it yep. and we talked about that and we and we were like, you know what? Our friends and our family will understand. Some might even be happy right. and relieved. Right. Um, some will be upset. But it's better for everyone to collectively have the same reaction then some people are upset. Some people are happy. Yeah. Like, I just know and myself. I'll be honest. And that will weigh on me so much. Yeah. Um, and I, I selfishly on my you know wedding day i'm like I, I i don't want to be like stressing out about if i'm offending people or like yeah. i don't know it was getting out of hand it was lit matt's been asked to be in like 13 weddings at yeah, this point yeah, yeah. no and i get it because he's too nice also where it's like yeah he feel you know and that is a thing and it's where people if you know you're asked to be in someone else's wedding you feel pressure to then have them in your wedding um which and is, you know you right know, obviously right you you don't you have can... to but like I said we're both like we both yes. very much and I was talking to my friends about it and I was like guys like you know you guys are my girls and would well, be my exactly, bridesmaids well, that's exactly what I was um, gonna say and everyone who knows they would be a bridesmaid feels it and really like we're doing everyone's gonna have responsibilities and be able to do yeah. stuff and still want to do stuff it's really just like when you don't have it it's just it's kind of just a day of thing right and so one of my best friends who got married in october and i was in her wedding when i said to them i was like you know you guys would be in it like i just want to let you know so you're not thinking i'm not yeah. like asking you guys and she was like to be honest as somebody who just got married and did the bridal party and everything I don't blame you. She was yeah. like, I loved it and it was great, yep. but I don't blame you at all yep. for being stressed out about that, um, which I did appreciate because I think everybody has their own. Like, I think it's great if if you can handle that and want to do it and that's wonderful. And I also think it's totally okay if you don't want to do it. Yeah. Like, I think that should be more normalized that like, because I feel like it's such a, you know. And you guys, you 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 also just like, know yourself you know yeah. like w you have to put yourself first in the sense that what's going to make you feel the best and the most relaxed and exciting excited yeah. on the day of your wedding 
and it'll just be like making sure right. you and your your family like has everything right and figured I figured out you know yeah and another thing is our wedding is going to be quite big um guest list is quite large I want to say at this point we're you know reaching maybe over 300 of, of invited um we both have big families lots of friends to invite I've never whistled like that before yeah. in my life but and that so felt, that felt like I needed to do yeah, it for that it's it's a big guest list and I you know we just had this conversation where we were like we really want part of this to be intimate you know right. yeah yeah yeah. big totally, wedding totally. but we need parts of it to be intimate night before the wedding will be very intimate mm -hmm. um and all of that so like we have the big party and ever and i want everyone to have a blast and and not be worried about everything and just enjoy the wedding and have fun and then also have like our intimate moments because it is going to be to be honest i also think sometimes it's a great way to even just to get your friends even more involved not even just because it's like it's like when you're a bridesmaid you're sometimes you're just kind of you like you know where you need to be and you're yeah. showing up but there's a lot or there's you know but you know your responsibilities and whatever like you have set responsibilities or it is what it is people have you know set roles but having no wedding party is like all your friends are just gonna be like, oh my god, can I do anything for no. you? Do you need anything? Are you okay? Can I get you something? Are you all right? Do you need me to do this? Do you need me to do that? Right. <laughs> I do have my friends already offering. Like, okay, we'll be right there in the front row, like fixing your dress, whatever. Exactly. I'm like, yeah. I'm like everyone's offering things. Like, what seat do you want me in? I'll be yeah. right there. Do you have everything yeah. organized for the bachelor party? Whatever you need me to do, right. I'll figure. Yeah. And I'm super. I'm still having yeah. a bachelorette party, of and course, that'll be a blast. Um, and Matt's gonna have a bachelor party, and that. So that was another thing. Yeah. The topic of like conjoined. Conjoined. Um, that was floated around and has been squashed because it it would be far too many i think you'd have too many people no too. That, yeah. that's what yeah, happened yeah, we yeah. were like this would be 30 something people yeah, yeah. on one trip is not gonna work we need to do this separately yeah. especially because it's it's very hard to do that when you don't have a wedding right. party because then because everyone's the, right, included the, like it, the 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 invite pool is so much bigger yeah like my the one I'm going on this weekend is strictly right. wedding Who's party. Who's in the wedding party? So it's like yeah. all the bridesmaids, all the groomsmen, like that's right. you know, and, and and no, no, nobody more than that. Yeah. When you so, do a trip like what what we were talking about, I put, yeah, it adds up. Fast. I put down a list of names, and we came up with 35 people. I said, no, yeah, that's too much. That's yeah. way too many yeah. people on one trip. Yep. So now we will be doing separate. That's why we were talking about Cabo, Tulum, something tropical vibe. Um haven't quite locked that down because that'll be like probably winter january or yeah, february yeah, yeah. next year we got time um got time but yeah i think it's like cool to stick with some traditions and then do yeah. what you want to do as totally. well and I, I, I feel like people need that encouragement i think there's a lot of brides out there that feel the need to like stick to the abc like here's the plan this is how weddings go and it's really up to you and, yeah, and what you're, you and your partner want. I've had to put my foot down on. Oh, and as you should, yeah. you know, yep. you yep. it's your, yep. at the end of the day, it is a day to be selfish. Mm -hmm. It is you and your partner's wedding day. Um, it's I'm about, it's about you guys. Of course so you want to celebrate with all your guests and have right. everybody there and share all the love. Um, and that's such a huge part of it, but you also want to focus on mm -hmm. the love for you have for each other and and what you want to have that day yeah so absolutely. i think it's important to remember that yeah and i guess now we're i feel like we're close enough and i don't know if we've actually said it completely or just have hinted at it by being like it's soon it's soon but yeah my batch ride is in two weeks i know <laughs> i know i'm so big I am, reveal <laughs> i am so excited because <laughs> i'm really excited too there are things you, i've been texting my sister like really dumb questions and she's like all right stop asking me these questions there are just things you don't know yeah and we were just talking about this i i hate keeping secrets yeah I well you it. really have been a bottle of secrets and maybe that's why my anxiety has yeah, been through yeah. the roof yeah because i have all these surprises yeah for people pent up in me <laughs> that I am so excited about, but it's literally weighing yeah. on me. So Matt won't know this because he isn't like he tunes into the podcast. Yeah, day, but yeah. I have two surprises for him because his, I'm not going to say what they are. I'll say after um, his 30th nobody, birthday. Is, nobody message him. Nobody message him. Nobody message him saying, oh, my God, Rhea is talking about your surprises. No, I'll actually kill you. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
guys, this is supposed to be like secret girl talk. No, like, I know. That's what I'm him. saying. Don't tell him. Um, I just had to make sure I'm, yeah. tell, I'm looking at you. Don't tell him. Because it's his 30th birthday next Thursday. So We're I have. all in on the secret now. <laughs> yeah. So I have two surprises. One will be today when you're listening to this. Yep. And then one will be like actually on his birthday. Yep. And I have kept these in <laughs> since the end of February. No, and it's, really it is imp- it's impressive. Killing me. Impressive. I am. I thought you were going to crack. I thought I was too. I really I, thought I'm, you were going to crack. I, I just get too excited yeah. with surprises and I end up cracking and telling. And then with you, you've made it this far. You oh, can't I won't crack. No, no. For this, for the, his this, birthday yeah. one, you can't like the, the night before you can't be like, ah. <sighs> Like, no, you got to wait. No, I okay, okay. I actually gave myself that talk good, because good. we are going to dinner the night before his birthday. Yeah. And oh, I sat shit. myself. No, I sat myself down and I said, you better not get your little drink on. Yeah, that's what and, I'm saying. That's say, what I'm worried about. Oh, let me give you your one your, martini. Your and you're like, fuck tonight. it. It's tonight. Yeah, no, that is not happening. Okay. I, I sat myself down. Okay. I, I looked at the mirror. I said, you don't fucking do that. Yep. So I've been holding on to that, which has been killing me to major not major just two fun surprises and then with you and your bachelorette in two weeks i've been holding on to like fun little yeah. surprises that i'm so excited about and i've had to like bury them deep into my crevices <laughs> so that i i forget about them and don't like accidentally say it to you yeah 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 um or like I think your mom almost said something when we were dress shopping about something but then she like was like <gasps> i don't know i i couldn't really hear her and then i was like oh about what and she was like i don't think i was supposed to say something <laughs> Oh my god! So I have no, I have yeah. no idea what it was. Yeah, she, okay, like, I didn't hear it at all. I didn't okay, hear good. her at all. Good, so good, good. It was. That's, yeah. See, this is what I mean because I have to tell people yes. in some capacity. Yes. Um, but yeah, I you know, I I I cannot. Your bachelorette party is going to be so much fun, <laughs> and it's going so to be excited. funny and fun and just great times. Yep. like it's just going to be great. Um. So yeah, oh, it was a, exciting things. Yeah, all great things. This is a little unplanned wedding catch up that we didn't. It plan was on doing, it just but on it just, theme today. It just know? happens because with the dress and everything, you know, you start talking yeah. about it, and then right, we could sit and here I, for I could talk, continue talking about. And honestly. I had been we'll, wanting to we, talk. We'll we'll share more as we well, get yeah. closer and stuff, you know. But I had been wanting to talk about the bridal party stuff because I my sister posted, I reposted her story of um, you your know, matron of honor yeah, gift, and somebody had responded like what's in your bridesmaids boxes whatever yeah, like yeah and also we talk so much about you asking me and gia yeah yeah that i was like i don't want people to think that i'm like like i, I feel like i need to talk about this totally. early on um and i it feels freeing to talk about um and it w- it was a a heavily weighed upon decision yeah that once we made the final decision it was like <sighs> all right I you agree. know so all right it's let's a good get call in. for you guys yeah let's get into the topics for today yeah. we we have some topics but we do want to uh should we just mention it what a absolutely unbelievable segue <laughs> to oj simpson dying yes. i have my my wedding dress I'm not on trying to no, laugh but the <laughs> yeah the dress that i'm picking. i guess yeah this is good we can just yeah. tell this story i have the dress that i'm picking on and fran goes well, I'm about to break some hilarious news to you. O.J. Simpson died. Yes. And I'm I'm standing in the mirror, like, crying about my dress. And she's like, I just have to yeah. say. I was like, I, I honestly, I saw it. And I was like, <laughs> I just have to tell you this, like, right now. And it's I can't believe I'm, I'm about to tell you this in this moment as you're, like, trying on your dress. But it's breaking news. So O.J. Simpson died. And then I had no idea how to, how to react. Yeah. I was like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we moved on quickly. We did. We As did move, we should. Yeah, we you did know, move on quickly. We moved quickly. on quickly. Um, but I made a TikTok back in 2021 pranking people in the office saying OJ Simpson died. Yes. And people have now found that TikTok and they started commenting on it. So I just stitched it. It's not like I said it last week. And right, it came, right, you know, right, it's right. not like, oh my God, she was on to something. Yeah, yeah. Like couple, that couple years. video, it was like, it was 2021. Like yeah. that could be anybody with anything. Yeah. Um, so it was, it's, you know. I don't want to say it was funny, but right. the video, people finding this like video. Like every death prediction comes to yeah. eventually. Okay. That <laughs> is something I don't want to talk about. <laughs> no, uh, anyway. But R.I.P. R- 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 O.J. Yeah, or, yeah, really? Or, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just feel like that's something you said. It's say. just, yeah. Caitlyn Jenner tweeted. Or just 
Good riddance. Hashtag like, I saw OJ people Simpson. being like, he's looking up at us because he's in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Dillon. Wait, Tim Dillon funny. posted a story that was so funny. It was like, he can finally be with his wife. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, yeah, I, uh, yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's no, like, there's OJ, not. OJ he, Simpson he's, died he's, and I don't, I don't, I don't think, think anybody realized, feels bad. Like, yeah, I don't think I realized he was sick. He just posted a video that people are sharing now, like recently, of him being like, I think I'm like almost good, like that he was doing well. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I, I'm people... not sure if it was like a, if it was a public thing or not that he was battling cancer. So I don't know. Maybe he, you know, you know, yeah. you don't know there's ups and downs, but that has, that, that happened today. That's the thing that happened today. Yeah. So, you know? uh, so now I we guess can get I, into the other topics. I won't RIP OJ Simpson again. <laughs> yeah. Um, How dare, no, I think that's, a, you know, that's what you, that's, that's just what you say. That's what you say. That's the standard. Yep. Um, all right. Let's get to the, the topics for today. The Jonas Brothers. People are mad at them. They had to push back their European tour yeah. dates. Zendaya is absolutely crushing her movie, her movie premiere, her movie press outfits for the Challenger with the Challengers. Challenger. Better get that right. I think no. it's a Challenger. I don't know. Challengers? Sarah says Challengers. The oh, Challengers no, or just challengers. challengers? Sorry. Oh, just Challengers. Sorry. You would have lost a point. Yeah, I would have lost a point in trivia for that. Um, sorry. <laughs> Zendaya's movie challengers. press for Challengers. Yep. Uh, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan actually... They're not uh, officially they're divorced. They're not officially divorced. Had no and clue. I think we all thought they were officially divorced yep. for years now. And Monica from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City announced that she is pregnant with her boyfriend. And we have a great game of trivia. So let's get into the topics. Thanks to Game Time, we have been to a ton of concerts, sporting events, shows this year. Our loved ones have been to events thanks to Game Time. And right now you can get it. Get your tickets. That's right with Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feel feeling flexible, and their lowest price guarantee means that if you can find the same seats for less anywhere else, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game Time is the best place for last minute seats with up to 60% off your favorite events what are you waiting for buy those tickets that you're thinking about you know baseball season is now here maybe you want to go to a game early on in the season maybe you want to go to a concert that's coming up you know olivia rodrigo's on tour i wish that i could have gone to a concert we weren't here but i was dying to um so many people so many great artists are on tour right now so check out those tickets check out the sporting events near you take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code chicks for twenty dollars off your first purchase Purchase terms do apply. Once again, download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. So the Jonas Brothers are in hot water because, yeah. <laughs> sorry, they moved their European tour dates just because they said they have exciting new, exciting projects. Yeah, exciting was used twice. Exciting was used twice. And everyone said, we don't care how exciting these exciting, these projects exciting are. very exciting, exciting projects are. People booked hotels, they booked flights, and they're just basically canceling it for some, some fresh meat, it seems, some, some bigger things. Yeah, As I mean- As a fan, it's how tough. does that affect you? So it's tough <laughs> because um, personally it affects me 0% because yeah. I was not planning to go to any of these shows. I'm not a European fan. So I'm like, oh, that sucks for them. <laughs> but but I understand. I understand. That is, that is really tough. And I know personally people that were traveling to these shows, mm -hmm. made planned vacations around mm -hmm. them, all those types of things like so I'm giving you a very serious interview. You are, you are. As you You're are like, a as a Brothers, fan, how do you feel about this? You are this? a Jonas Please Brothers dissect. fan that I inquired to about this very serious interview and topic. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I get it. I would I would be pissed too. And I know people are like just pissed in general with that, with that move. Because it's also just like not handled in the best way. You know, just kind of putting out a video 
saying like we have exciting things coming and then like your you know your tickets will be moved to the fall or whatever it is like people are gonna need refunds some you, you know if you are if you have a show in june maybe you can't go in october um they have but that's the timeline that they've moved it to it looks like may it was supposed to be may june ish time now we're looking at september october for the european dates um but i i mean i was like really deep on on fan twitter just like reading what people were saying too and this one got me where someone just wrote also did the jones brothers even say sorry in the video i don't (laughs) think they did i don't think they did yeah they just said exciting five yeah yeah it was like um not great for the joe bro host let me let's let's see if, if we can get a hold on if there was a everybody it's us the jones brothers howdy we have shifted the European dates to later this year, but that is only because we have some exciting projects that we're very excited to share with you at a later point. European fans, we love you. We can't wait to see you. It's been long overdue, and we are so excited to play these shows later this year in the fall. So make sure to hold on to your tickets. We will be having more information to come, but we cannot wait to see you. Okay. The link we'll below see you soon. has more info. Thank you for your love and support over all the years, and uh, we'll get you more info very soon. Everybody, it's us. There was no sorry. Sorry for breaking all the promises. At least <laughs> you're at least you're apologizing for them. To keep honestly, it's a t- good song for this moment. At least you're apologizing in the name yeah, of Jones Brothers because look, they didn't have the decency it is kinda, to apologize to their. It fans. is kind of crazy to not have one of them be like, "We're so sorry. We have to do this." Like. We'll be back. Well, the shows will be amazing. They really kept it short and to the point. Yeah. And it's this is a thing. It's like when you tease exciting projects, there have been teases in the past from them that haven't necessarily come to fruition. Yeah. My friends and I were joking. We were like, damn, are they finally putting out their book? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the book never came out. I forgot god about the book the book straight up the never book. We, came we out we talked about the book a lot and remember when we went to the broadway shows the beginning like they oh my it was about the book. from the book i'm gonna pass out these lights yeah. are so hot but i'm, I'm freaking yeah. out that they never released no the book. no the book yeah the book is where is the book i'm feverish <laughs> yep yep so they never they released. never released <laughs> They never put out the book, they correct? They never released the book. It's yeah. been a year now. Oh my God, it's been it a was, year plus. Like, we, we we went to the concert. Um, I uh, think the book was supposed to come out like we went to the concert. November of like I don't even know. It we was went moved to the concert like two nights before March seventeenth. Yeah, of last year. I only know that because I had a wedding on that day, like two days after. I'm pretty sure. Um, so. Blood, a memoir by the Jones Brothers. If you look on it on Amazon, it just says currently unavailable. <laughs> well, maybe it had to do with the Sophie and Joe divorce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the flu after hearing this. I- <laughs> they never released the they book. Ne- Holy they shit. They never released the book. <laughs> just title this podcast. <laughs> They, they never, never released, released the, the book. book. Yep. I'm I don't know if I could go on. I know. I'm I'm truly stunned right now, actually. I totally forgot about the book, but now that now that the book has been I've been reminded yeah. of the book. I'm Somebody posted on the Jonas Brothers Reddit four months ago saying, has anyone heard any update on the book? I pre-ordered the book earlier this year after originally (laughs) ordering the book the first time it was announced. Then I got a refund. I reached out to their merch store via email and was told it was going to be released early next year and was in the final stages and that I should receive an email with the first two chapters in early December. It's December 6th and haven't heard or seen anything. Has anyone else hoping it doesn't get canceled again? And then some people said, oh, maybe like there's things about Sophie that needed to be taken out or reworked or like whatever. I love Which how makes me just... think that it could maybe just have been like, yeah, you know, all, Joe's goes through a divorce and they're like, hey, let's not put the book out. I love how we're calling it the book. The book. The book. Yeah. The book. Mm-hmm. The Bible. Yeah. That we just, that was like, oh my God, they shared so much. So many details. So many untold stories. They read. They read it on stage. They read excerpts on stage. Correct. Holy fuck. Yep. I, yep. That just rocked my world. I know. I'm not kidding. And then why is this the first time you're bringing this up? Honestly, because it's just, the book has, 
it's never coming. <laughs> like I just the lore around the book. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I gave up on the book like a year ago. So at this point, like it's just been an ongoing joke that it's like the book's never coming out. Holy fuck! So I don't know what's going on. What exciting projects are lined up? That's the thing. That's why it's like there's no ex- now. I don't believe them. Now that's that, the problem, now that right? We've brought it, up it's, the book. It's felt like we've gotten some empty promises. <laughs> Maybe the exciting, empty promises. The exciting new exciting project is the book. Yeah, <laughs> new chapter worked into a television Ima- show. Imagine <laughs> they come back and they're like, "Sorry, the European tour." Um was rebooked because we're now releasing the book yeah with new chapters yep new chapters joe had to start writing after the divorce i'm blown away right now by the brothers yeah so like i said fans are upset rightfully so do they have this no morals sucks. this really that hey, sucks that really human. sucks what <laughs> so they're only human uh, yeah it <laughs> never ceases to amaze me that you really can nail it every time he does oh man i, oh I God, missed that catalog on that one too yeah um yeah, never nothing like having to repeat. Yeah, yeah. Nothing worse than when you say a funny joke yeah. in front of a group of people, and you almost don't want to repeat. Some it. laugh like, and yeah. some some go, "What? I didn't hear it." Yeah. And then you have to, re- no, I never say I didn't hear it. If there's a group, yeah. if there's a group of people laughing, you I just, just laugh. laugh. Yep. I <laughs> normally I I normally I do, do you, that as well. Do you ever ask someone to repeat something and they repeat it and you still don't know what they say and then you just pretend like you're absolutely like, and then you just I go <laughs> yep <laughs> I just nod my head that's it I know far I mean, too many times <laughs> what a man got to do to get this book <laughs> I thought about I thought about that one. <laughs> I just look on Shit. I just look on Spotify and go which <laughs> Oh yeah. It's it's Oh, you cheat. Well, not oh, always. You've been looking? Not always, but Oh this my one... god, don't reveal your secrets. The a magician never reveals his secrets. Don't tell I don't, don't always do it, don't but t- Oh, you know. I I have always thought those were coming from the top no, of no, his head. Sometimes they are, sometimes I, I you know, if I have time I'll Oh my you know? god, He's... really that's a, that took away a lot a lot. He's just a... from the joke for yeah. me. He's just those aren't off the cuff. You guys have all been suckers. Okay, see there. I'll take that one. <laughs> that one plays. All right, guys. Well, this has been a real roller coaster. But... Yeah, so I'm... Yeah, I guess at this point... What? Nobody's gonna... Nobody's... Oh, roller coaster. Shit. Sorry. Wait, wait. What sorry, did you say? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. I... Yes. Sorry. That one didn't click for I me. I have failed. <laughs> sorry. I should have got... I failed. In my brain, I... I one time... <laughs> In my br- I waited that whole conversation. I was the silent. With the roller coaster. In the and as I spoke, I was like, "This, I'm moving on. I'm moving topics." I don't even know that one. Roller coaster? No. Yeah, you do. What album was it? Like, not this their- begins. You definitely went to the show. Oh, it was on their last one. Guys, I oh, waited that roller coaster <laughs> with you. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I waited that whole I'll conversation. Ride that roller coaster. I was silent. We were young and now, and now we're older. older. Oh, na, na, yeah. In California. Yep. I apologize that that didn't hit me right. <laughs> as honestly, my brain went. We're done with talking about the Jonas Brothers. You know. I don't feel like I failed you. I feel like I failed myself. No, 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 no. Because Honestly, honest, you just he you st- delivered it so smoothly. Oh, stop! That he, I he just stole, was like, oh yeah. He stole the sucker one from me because I had uh, two lined up. I was gonna say he's a sucker for a real pun, and then I was gonna go into the roller coaster. Okay. So I was gonna do a double whammy. So yeah. once he stole stuck sucker from me, I said, you better nail this roller yeah. coaster one. I mean, honestly, they really do write themselves. Like, when's no, the book they, coming out? Year three thousand. I I thought about that one too. That that one was almost too like obvious. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. When are they going to Europe? Year three thousand. My God. God, I feel they like really, I failed. They really, they really said good night and goodbye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now Noah's just going down their discography yeah. on, on yeah. Spotify. <laughs> oh, these lights really have me burning up. Hey. I, <laughs> You laughed extra hard. You can't hesitate. You, no, you felt I did bad. <laughs> no, you didn't because I was gonna. I was about to say the exact same thing. <laughs> that's why. Oh, right. oh my right. lord! But yeah, that's a tough one. Um, I guess we'll find out soon because it's not like this concert. These concerts were a year from now. It was like May's not that far away when they were supposed to be going to Europe. So, yeah. well, uh, Argentina's lucky. They're still yeah, they were there. like they were like South America. We'll see you next week. Yeah, see you South America. Yeah, yep. But so, European fans, good for them. 
Okay. Moving on. Sorry, we're over the Jonas Brothers now. <laughs> and you take a deep breath after that. Zendaya. Oh, man. Um, has been absolutely crushing press for challengers. Yeah. Which... I've seen these videos of Zendaya talking about her fashion choices lately. She did a bunch of interviews. I want her brain. Mm. I want Zendaya's brain. Because the way that her brain works, along with her stylist Law's brain, they come up with the most fabulous outfits of all time. They do. On theme, on par, beauty is pain, yeah. she said in one video, because she's worn some uh, very uncomfortable dresses. There is not a moment that Zendaya lets anybody down with her looks. Yeah. Spot on every single time. It really is just an inspiration because every time it's it's just like change of the game where when actors or actresses or whatever, you know, they're doing press for a new movie. And they walk a red carpet, they they put on a, a beautiful gown or a beautiful suit, and they walk that carpet. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the movie, or maybe there's little trinkets here mm-hmm. or there. Zendaya just dedicates herself to that movie that she is promoting, and it is genius. It's such a good idea. More people should do it. I mean, Margot Robbie and Barbie, like, it made sense. It was like, you know, she is Barbie, so it's... But just continuing that theme if other people start doing that where it's like, oh, you really, even with Dune Park 2 and everything Zendaya has been doing has been so good. And it's just the little details of, you know, the tennis chic outfits and she went with like the lighter hair, or the tennis ball and the shoes, like whatever it is. Some people hated the tennis ball and the shoe, but I I thought it was cute. Like I like it. I, I really, it. I think it's so fun because... And this is, you know, just how I imagine being a massive superstar would be. It's got to be tiring to just put on a pretty dress all the time. You know? Yes. Where it's like, you get dolled up, you look pretty, you walk a red carpet. How many times can I do it? It's tiring being beautiful. Which is why I feel like she makes it fun for herself to basically have a dress-up party every time she goes to an event. It's it's genius. It's such a good idea and a way to get so creative because how creative can you get? Right. And and I know some people will complain about a theme party, but I fucking love a theme party. And if if every event was like a fun theme that I got to like dream about and execute and plan outfits for, so fun. So fun. Not to give away details, I won't say the theme. But I am so excited for (laughs) one of the themes for your bachelorette. (laughs) Like, I go to bed thinking about it. Like, for Friday? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I literally, yeah. and I don't want to spoil it <laughs> yeah. because of the video. I go I go to bed thinking about know. how great it's going to be. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, last night, yeah. I was picturing all of us interacting, <laughs> yes. and I was giggling to myself, like, I know. this is the best well, thing ever. Well, my favorite thing ever also is that we just didn't, like the original plan was that there was maybe going to be a change mm-hmm. but now we can just be on theme the whole night that's which what, is really going to be incredible that's the part <laughs> that i'm so excited yes. about is that there's no change yes. and that the entire night we are in these i don't even want to call it a theme yeah costumes yes. <laughs> yeah. um yeah yeah and they are unbelievable yep. everybody has picked like such a you, you guys will see it on social media yeah we'll have to post about it but <laughs> it's been cracking me up i can't wait sorry i, I got so no. distracted because i'm so excited about it no it's gonna be it's gonna be great but i'm but, with you i love you know it what i'm saying like she gets to plan out outfits to to say oh, just another you know a themed party mm-hmm. basically yeah instead of just having to get dolled up and and head out which i'll She's probably, she's had to do a million times. I feel like this has got to make it more fun. Right. I totally agree. She's absolutely, and just in the name of fashion, you know, it's so good. I also, did you see that clip of the director? Maybe the director, one of the producers, maybe it was just a producer. I don't know. I forget. On a carpet being like, yeah, we made this movie because Zendaya just like wanted a more mature role. Like she just wanted Mm -hmm. to like be older in a movie. And I was like, wow, fair power. That's power. Just being like, hey, I want to, I want. Someone make me that movie. Yeah, and make a threesome in the trailer. Yeah. Because I'm I adult. am excited for that. For oh, oh, I think I'm going to go to the theater yeah. and see it. Yeah, it does the look theater. Good. The theater? Yeah, I think I'm going to the theater. 
to see to it. the theater to the theater if you haven't heard of visible now you do they're the wireless carrier that's making wireless visible it's in the name Switch to Visible, the wireless company that makes wireless visible. Get a one-line plan with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Just $25 a month, taxes and fees included. One-line wireless, just $25 a month, taxes and fees included. Visible is the wireless company, once again, that makes your wireless visible. So there's no hidden fees. No, really, no hidden fees. Save on wireless with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. In times of traffic, your data may be temporarily slower than other traffic. 5G access required a 5G capable device in a 5G coverage area. Monthly rate on the Visible plan. Terms apply. See Visible.com. So switch now at Visible.com. Moving on, so this was just random random news that we just kind of found out that Channing Tatum and yeah. Jessica, uh, Jenna Dewan are not actually officially divorced. They both have. I had no but idea. Jenna Dewan, isn't she remarried? She's, enga- she's engaged. Okay, so she's engaged. But I mean, obviously, with- that's why they're not married. Yeah, and um, <laughs> they have been engaged for a while. And Channing Tatum and Zoe Deutsch. Kra- oh, Kravitz. Kravitz. Why? That was just like a. That was just like you, you said Zoe and I said Deutsch. You threw Deutsch down my throat so fast that yeah. I was like, wait, what? Yep. What happened with Jimmy Tatro? Yeah. Um, no. No, Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz. Like, that was just my brain going. Deutsch. Like, if you gave me a celebrity, like, just, and I would throw out a last name. You know? You know what Deutsch If you were like Brad me? Pitt. Pitt. Yeah. Miranda. Cosgrove. Yup. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's why I, I don't know why you just said Zoe with Deutsch. Yeah. No, not Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz. Yep. They're engaged too. So both of them are separately engaged, but they are not officially divorced. Right. And it's like feisty. Jenna Dewan wants Channing Tatum to testify as they try to hash out their, this is People Magazine, as they try to hash out their divorce in court while Channing is requesting both Dewan and her fiance, Steve. Six years after they first announced their split, Dewan and Tatum are still at odds over a financial settlement, including profits from Tatum's Magic Mike franchise. Damn, does Jenna want the profits? Sounds like something's going on there. In court documents obtained by People Dewan submitted her, quote, preliminary witness list, which included her and Tatum's names. Tatum and Dewan married in July 20, 2009. Dewan filed for divorce in October 2018. They have a 10 year old. Per the file, filing, Dewan wants her and Tatum, 43, to, quote, testify regarding all issues related to the party's marriage, including business and financial activities. In court documents obtained by people filed by attorneys for Tatum, the actor names Dewan as well as her fiance Steve Ket Kazi. I don't know how to. Kazi. I don't know how to. Among his witness list, the document notes that Steve is expected to testify regarding his uh, and petitioner's cohabitation, joint expenses, and all related matters. Tatum and Dewan have a hearing scheduled for Friday, April 12th. According to court documents, the quote, key issues for the trial are division of property, reimbursement claims, support, breach of fiduciary duty, and attorney's fees. Dewan singled out the Magic Mike intellectual property, which Dewan said they acquired together and is, quote, the largest issue that will affect the others. According to Dewan, the characterization and division of the Magic Mike intellectual property should be decided first because it, quote, will impact the resolution of the other financial issues in this case. She also claimed that the case has been delayed because Tatum allegedly refuses to accept an equal division of the Magic Mike intellectual property. She also accuses him of putting the earnings into, quote, an irrevocable trust and transferring licensing rights to a third party without telling her. Tatum disputes her claims. Court documents filed by his attorneys claim that the actor, quote, has expanded extensive efforts since separation towards the enhancement of the Magic Mike intellectual property and related entities, which respondent contends give rise to his separate property interests therein. The court will need to allocate the community interest and respondent's separate property interest in the intellectual intellectual property and related entities in consideration of respondents post separation efforts. It's a lot. Of it's a lot of legal jargon. A yes, lot sir. of legal like, jargon. I'm, I'm not even to be rude. I, I yawned. Yeah. It. Yep. No, that's so fair. 
It's way longer than I thought it than I thought it, it was to be honest. It was like Go almost on. like a lullaby. I started getting I know. really sleepy. I know. <laughs> like if you look at the footage, I'm like my eyes, my eyes started to close. Dewan once went on to allege that Tatum did not tell her about Magic Mike business opportunities and collected 100 percent of the profits after their separation without her knowledge. The actress also claimed Tatum sold their interest in Saints and Sinners LLC restaurant to a trust. That's that restaurant in New Orleans. Yeah. So, so really, I mean, man, they have some, some they have a major, but major, my, I, I kind of thought that they had like a fairly amicable split, but they're really, they're fighting over money here for sure. And it's like, you know, big, big things. Now, my question is, if he went on to do Magic Mike projects after they separated and, and collected a hundred percent of the profits, I guess they have a deal in, you know, and you know, cause they're not legally divorced. But can you really blame Channing Tatum? Like if he's doing Magic Mike, right? And he's like, yeah, I, no, I, this yes, is 100% Because yep. I, I do feel like if Jenna went on to do a movie, I would be like, keep that money, girl. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a situation where but he, I guess she when thinks you're, that you're, she helped. She cla- I, what, from what I'm gathering, she's claiming she helped create that concept. Of and Magic Mike. Of Magic Mike. Mm. And therefore okay, it deserves, so they deserves part that of the then, IP. I then believe that she deserves money if she did have a hand in creating right, the concept right. of Magic Mike. Right. And so now like Channing Tatum is going to come in and he's also now, I understand why he's having her fiance. He wants her fiance to testify because I'm sure he's going to try and say like, you know, why does she need this money here? Like they live together. This is what he does. Here's mm-hmm. how. He, but it's crazy because they're going to have to get into the real nitty gritty details of money and who makes what and where it's coming from and and yeah. all those things to have to and I and I also understand I guess like the Magic Mike IP is such a giant thing that if they come to an agreement on that that maybe solves a lot of the smaller issues in yeah. place but if they can't find an agreement on the Magic Mike stuff then like all the little pieces they're going to get kind of it seems like they might get like a little nasty on like hey well i get this you get that whatever yeah that could- so i mean it's a long time and they still are 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 not legally divorced and ha- clearly haven't been able to agree to on agreement. separating their assets well we need the lawyers to come and make a decision well, i yeah. just can't keep going really on like i this. just had no idea that this was a thing no well clearly it's it's heating up and yeah. now that's probably why we have found out about it yep yep um, exactly and that i guess this hearing is you know today friday right so Last topic, just an announcement, really, is that Monica from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City announced that she is pregnant yep. um, with her boyfriend. And it is funny that Rihanna just recently said, like, if Sandoval was allowed back on Vanderpump Rules, then Monica should be allowed back on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Yep. But she won't be returning to Salt Lake City. And, you know, she's going to be living living her life, having, having a baby. Yeah. She revealed on The Vile Files that... She is pregnant. I believe she said she's about seven weeks. But I can't believe she revealed it on, on this podcast. She was like, of, I haven't told anyone. Like, that, she has... Um, it's she, kind of an early time One, to two, announce. three. She has four kids. And this is her first baby with her 29-year-old boyfriend whose name she has yet to share. I feel like that's kind of a uh, an early announcement. I feel like people don't announce usually up no, until weeks is it. three months, right? Or I, maybe maybe they recorded this a while ago. Oh, that could be possible and, too. Like so, she's saying she's seven weeks while they're recording, but right. I wonder what just made her say it there. I know. So Monica's thirty nine. I guess her boyfriend is twenty nine. Asked what was next for Garcia after she leaves the reality show. The star revealed that she is seven weeks pregnant. I literally just found out, Garcia says, I have not told one fucking person except for my best friend. Oh, okay. So in that moment, I guess maybe they, my my guess is that they sat down. She knew they were recording, but she also, I'm sure Nick told her like when this was going to air. Mm-hmm. And in her mind, she was like, oh, okay. If this is like, I'll, I can Right. I mean, I do wonder when I would they think, recorded unless it. Unless it was really recent, but it could have been could have been recently. Something about that hot seat. She said. Yeah. She yeah, said. Uh, yeah. She said that she went into urgent care for something totally unrelated, um, and the doctor came in and told her she was pregnant. She said that she was bawling her eyes out. She was like, "I'm 39." She said she was on birth control. Um. So it was crazy. Damn. Yeah. Yep. So. Her boyfriend is also an ex-Mormon. Okay. 
reformed? Yes, I already have four girls. No, I was not planning on being 39 and going through the baby stage again, but unexpectedly, here I am, is what she wrote on her caption in her Instagram post that she posted on Thursday. She said, for everyone making hateful comments and judging me as a mother, immediately deleted and blocked. I will not intake the negativity coming at me over a baby. To everyone else, thank you. So, oh, well, that's a, I don't just know a why new chapter getting, for Monica. I don't know why, you know. I mean, you know what people are probably saying. Like, they're probably like, what? Like, you're old. Blah, blah, right, blah. Right. Like, yeah. you should be. Like, it's great. Like, right. like, people have a lot to say about something that's not their business. It was not planned and it yeah. happened. And, yep. you know, yep. you know. So, um, yeah. Well, crazy. C- congrats, and I, Monica. Right. And this is something that's like, damn. I wish she was still on the show. Right. right. Maybe they'll rethink it since Rihanna said it. Yeah. Maybe they'll be like, oh, well, right. You know, Rihanna has a point. I wish she was on yeah. the show, regardless of everything that happened and whatever it was. Drama would, would definitely be more, but it, it, they're not going to lack drama yeah. on that show. Yeah. They definitely won't. There's always something. Always. Um, all right. That wraps up the topics. All right. Let's get into a great game of trivia. But first, guys, Beat Rian Fran is presented by Coors Light. From day-to-day annoyances to the big stuff life throws your way, it's easy to get worked up. But there's a better way, a chiller way. Turn that canceled concert into a parking lot dance party, too cold for an ocean swim, play volleyball and light a bonfire instead. That's choosing chill. And when you choose chill, reach for a Coors Light. When the mountains turn blue, it's as cold as the Rockies. You can see right now these bad boys are blue. The can is cold. It is really hot in the studio, and this can is so cold so tantalizing i just want to crack it open right now it's amazing who doesn't love a nice ice cold cores like going into the weekend so when you choose to rise above it all choose chill choose cores light get cores light delivered straight to your door with instacart by going to coreslight.com slash chicks and always celebrate responsibly from cores brewing company golden colorado All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Beat Rian Fran. This is game number 120, the big 120th game. We are joined by Kendall and Liza. They are coming to us live from a rental car in Florida. They were at a resort and um, somebody drove into a pole and they lost all service. So now they are in a rental car in a CVS parking lot. And we thank them (laughs) for going through the lengths to get to the service. So thank you guys for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having us. Love it. Love the dedication. Well, we're going to make it work. Um, 15 questions. If you get the question right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, the other team can steal the point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. To determine who goes first, Noah's going to give us a movie. We are each going to guess Mm -hmm. the Rotten Tomatoes critic score of that movie. Whoever is the closest, your team will go first. And everyone gets their own individual guess. We will alternate between teams um, for the guesses. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie, a little bit of a throwback, The Outsiders. I don't know what that movie is. Have you ever seen it? You don't? No. No, we, we go I, first? I literally just whispered, I don't know what that movie is. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, we've <laughs> never seen it. Yeah, one, okay, of, one of you guys t- take a guess first. You want to go first? Yeah. All right, I'll guess 52. I'm going to go um, 89. Yeah, I feel like the old movies always get like better reviews. I'm gonna go 68. I have literally no idea. Like, I'm gonna say 95. 68 is the closest. Oh. It's 70. Okay. Woo! They made us watch that in school. I'm surprised you guys haven't yeah, seen it. It very much rings oh, it was like bell. And that, like, is that a book that we had boy? to read too. Is that it's a famous old book. Pony Boy? Yeah, Pony Boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh now I know. <laughs> Stay golden. Stay golden, Pony Boy. Yeah. Oh, like I, I, feel I know like, the line. Right. John Travolta, right? The Outsiders. Yeah, now I know it. I don't remember no, that. No, I've not seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Dillon. No, not Matt. D- Rob. Rob. Lo- Tom Cruise is in it. All right. <laughs> Might have to give it a rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, first question to Liza and Kendall, and this question shout out Kristen from Boston. What is the name of the hit song that Corbin Blue sings in the Disney movie Jump In? You got it. Oh, this is all Kendall. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna get it. What? Is it like it's not like double? It's nope, not like double are. step. Um, jump, 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 jump. It's not jump in. 
Is it? Is it jump in? Could it be a trick question? <laughs> or what is it about boxing? Because right, it's a boxer. Time is up. Rope. Final answer. Okay, jump in. Incorrect. I know. I'm I'm so mad at myself right now. I'm having this same situation. <sighs> Didn't she have one about double dutch? Double dutch. Should we just guess? Double let's dutch? Ju- let's guess double dutch. But I'm going to be so mad when I hear the answer to this. Yeah. Same. Double, same. Double, double dutch. dutch. Correct. Push it to the limit. Yeah, you gotta oh, push it, push God. it oh, to the limit, it. limit. Yeah. Give it all you can oh, give it, God. win it to win oh, it. Oh yeah. Shit. Yep. God, I fucking love that song. Yep. I'm so mad at myself right now. Now I'm gonna like have that stuck Holy in my head. Holy shit. Okay, question number two, still zero zero. This is a real friend. Shout out Lucy from Chicago. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Fred and George invent a product to eavesdrop on conversations. What is the name of the product? They're called, um... Oh, man. They're they're ears. It's like extendo ears. I literally bought the toy version of this for Joe's nieces. Like, you can buy them in the store. Five seconds. I mean, I'm just gonna have to go with extendo ears. That sounds ridiculous, I think. But time is final up. answer. Incorrect. <laughs> extendo ears. It's, Eliza and <laughs> it's something it's like that. Eliza. I'm Disney and Liza's Harry Potter, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna get this. Order the Phoenix is the one I know the least. Um, gotta guess. Uh, what about like eavesdrop something like um, ear ears drop? <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. You were very close. Extendable ears. Extendable oh, ears. That is really I just close. got I just got like two magic with it. Yeah. Extendo. You know? I, was like, <laughs> I like that so far, Liza and Kendall's guesses have been from the question. It's was yeah. jump in. And yeah, <laughs> just start. just the names of the questions. <laughs> Maybe it'll pay off. Extendable <laughs> ears. No, God damn jump it. In. That's gonna that's gonna haunt me. Same. <laughs> okay. Still zero zero. Question number three to Liza and Kendall. Shout out Haley from Orlando. What actor <clears throat> or actress has a ride featuring them at Universal and Walt Disney World in Orlando? Is it like Marvel? It's an actor or actress. Well, it could be like like Sarah Jessica Parker. I mean, not Sarah uh, Scarlett Johansson or no. Um, Jimmy Fallon. He's technically an actor. He's in Fever Pitch. He has a ride. No, he does. Uh huh. At uh, one of them, I, I think so. Ten seconds. Jimmy Fallon. Final answer. Incorrect. We're in front. <laughs> At Universal and Disney, actor or actress? Is there somebody who has been like a Disney princess that's also been in a right, a, right, right, right superhero movie? Or an actor? Ten seconds. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm just blanking. It just seems like there's such a wide variety. Yeah, seconds. yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Sure. Incorrect. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. He was in oh. the uh, Velocicoaster at Universal Studios and then the Cosmic Rewind at Epcot. Um, so uh, um, Jurassic Park and Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Tough game so far. <laughs> wow, man. Really good start. Yeah. Really good hot start. Hot start. Hot start. Question number four to Rian and Fran. Shout out Alex from Chicago. In Friends, which celebrity plays Chandler's coworker that Monica and Chandler want to ask to be a sperm donor? Chandler's is coworker? This us? Yeah, this yeah. is us. Uh, Anna Ferris. Yes. Oh no, sperm donor would no, be a sperm guy. Sperm donor is a guy. She's the one Anna who Ferris is, is the one is, who, who does yeah, the, no, she does the she's the surrogate. Yeah. Um fuck. Ten seconds. Chandler's coworker. Five. I don't know. I got nothing. Oh my god. This is such a bad I game. got nothing. I don't know. What's up? Okay, it's Eliza and Kendall. It's not Brad Pitt. That no, is Ross's friend. It's not. 
Um, wait, it's Chandler's coworker? Yeah. 15 seconds. I was like extremely good looking when they were like in that age. I feel like John Stamos is like a good question. I'm just answer. thinking of the circuit. I can't think of a sparring cover. Five seconds. Yeah, I guess it. John Stamos, final answer. Correct. John Stamos. Let's go. Wow. One wow. more. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Damn. I don't even remember that. <laughs> One nothing, lies in Kendall. Okay, and this is question number five to lies in Kendall. See how beat up the bottom. Yeah, I don't know they well, how that happens. I know they really. They, just, they look really beat up. Okay, it's crazy. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> question number five to lies in Kendall. Shout out Grace from Indianapolis. What rom com has the quote "Will you marry me? Because I would like to date you." Oh, um. Uh, the proposal. Yes. The proposal, final answer. Correct. Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right. I've never seen the proposal in full. Cool. Oh, great movie. Oh my god. That's that's, that's a crime. Great movie. Great movie. Okay, two nothing. Lies and Kendall. Question number six to Rian Fran shout out Rachel from Rogers, Arkansas. Nick Jonas wrote his song Jealous for which one of his ex girlfriends? Olivia Culpo. Olivia Culpo. Final answer. Yep. yep. Correct. Two I would one. Not have gone. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It just makes sense, you know? It does, it does. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay, 2-1, Liza and Kendall. This question is to them. Shout out Grace from Indianapolis. Name the actor or actress based on the movies they've appeared in. That was worded weird. Name the actor <laughs> who's been in all these movies. Step Brothers, <laughs> How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Glass Onion, The Knives Out Mystery. Okay. Step Brothers is How to Lose a Guy. I don't think any of the I'm, I'm thinking of who are like um, Kate Hudson's friends. I know. I don't remember their names. Onion. Oh. Ten seconds. Kate, it's not Kate Hudson. She's oh. She might be, because she's in Glass Onion. She is? Yeah. All right. Kate, Kate Hudson, final answer. Incorrect. It's, um, her name's Catherine. I don't know her full name. She plays uh, Kate Hudson's friend in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. She pl pretends to be the therapist. Remember when Matthew McConaughey- Catherine Hahn? Yes. Yeah. Catherine Hahn. But he said actor. He said actor, 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 actor. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you then need, when you reread the question, you only said actor. Okay. And then, oh, then no. yeah, Catherine I don't Hahn. know if she's in Glass Onion, but- Catherine Hahn. Catherine Hahn. Correct. Yes. I actually thought of her. I didn't know her name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're on a hot streak now. Yeah. <laughs> Tied up at two. And this question is to Rand Fran. Shout out Vanessa from New Hampshire. Name this year. Rihanna scored her, her fourth number one song with Disturbia. Camp Rock premiered on Disney Channel. John Mayer and Jennifer Aniston break up. Camp Is Rock. this us? 2000, yes. 2009? 2008? What was the last one? John Mayer and Jennifer Aniston break up. Ooh, that feels like so That was like the... John... Jennifer Aniston and who? John Mayer. Oh, John Mayer. Okay. I feel like we do 2009. 2009? Oh, shit. 10 seconds. I'm, I'm thinking it was the I'm summer thinking... I was going... I think maybe this summer I was going into eighth grade. So I would go 2008. Okay, 2008. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 2008. Correct. Yep. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. So <laughs> <laughs> gonna say I think Camp Rock came out the summer I was going into eighth grade. Three, two, Rian Fran. No, fresh, freshman year then. Five answers in a row. Ooh, All right. Oh, we're on a hot streak now. Started off slow. Question number yeah. nine. <laughs> and this is to Liza and Kendall. Shout out Adrian from LA. On what soap opera did Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos first meet? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, all I know is like, isn't Days of Our Lives? Days of Our Lives and Days of Our Lives. That's the only soap opera I know. Uh, who is it, Kelly Ripa? Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos. Yeah, I don't know seconds. a name of another soap opera. Yeah, Days of Our Lives. <laughs> 
Incorrect. Is it, is it one? Is it oh. One. Li- which one were you gonna say? Oh, married with children. Is that? That's not a soap opera. Oh, it's not. Um. Uh, ER. No, no, that's not, not ER. a soap opera. General Hospital. <laughs> General Hospital is. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. Let's go General Hospital. Well, what were you going to say? One, One Life to Lit. I don't think that's the name of it. Five seconds. Let's go General Hospital. Yeah. Okay. Incorrect. All My Children. All My oh Children. Oh my God, I just said that. Sure. <laughs> All My oh, Children. My favorite. What's Married with Children? Is that just another TV show? Married with Children <laughs> oh. is My Life and Kids. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Married I, with I, Children I is I obviously a just got yeah. those confused. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Married, Married with Children is yeah, okay. uh, a sitcom that was on the 1980s. That was the Bundys, remember? Yes. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All My Children yeah. is a soap opera. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just thought of that after I answered. I'm bummed. Yeah. <laughs> Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are handcrafted by over 200 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. I know for me, you know, going on a trip, I love to, to maybe brush up on my Italian, took Italian in school, but as I got older, I need those reminders, need those brush ups. So Babbel is so perfect for that, for real world conversations. Studies from Yale, Michigan State University and others continue to prove Babbel is better. One study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. Babbel has over 16 million subscriptions sold, plus all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash chicks. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash chicks, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash chicks. Rules and restrictions may apply. Okay, question number 10 to Rian Fran. I'm going to play a movie clip. You tell me what movie it's from. You want a house? I'll get you a house. You want to get the fuck out of here? Get out of here. I got that trailer. I'll get a truck. We'll hit the road. You pick a place you like, we'll stop. You don't want to be there. You were out of there. What about my mom? She can come. Isn't it a place beyond? A place beyond, beyond the, the pines? pines? Yeah. A place beyond the pines. Is that what it's called? It's yeah. not a house, but it's, yeah, a, place. Yeah, it's a place. A place. Okay. A place. Yeah, because that's on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. Place beyond the pines. Yeah. Final answer. Is that not the name of it? Fuck. Uh, God, I'm torn. Shit. <laughs> 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 um. I'm gonna say incorrect. A place beyond the pine. I'm gonna say incorrect. Oh, a, That's the movie, though. <sighs> yeah. It is a movie. That's the problem. Because, but, but, do they know the actual name? You know. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, like you can give it to them because I. Well, like let's let's think. A, among the pines. A, a place. A place among the pine. What they say? A place what behind it? the pines. I think. Among. I kind of like among. Did they say among? I can't remember what they said now. Um, 15 seconds. Among the pines? A place among the pines. Or I don't know. It's a place among the pines. I think a place is okay. in there. Okay. A place, place among the pines? Incorrect. It's the place beyond the pines. Oh. The uh, place beyond, beyond the pines. We said behind the pines. It's we beyond. said behind. Did you say behind? I thought you said beyond. I thought we said beyond. I thought you just said. I, oh, and, oh, we said a, p- a, a place beyond, beyond the, the pines. pines. And you <laughs> and he hit no, us with the. Noah, that is the same movie. A and if the. That was, if yeah. that was Jeopardy or whatever. Or, if that was Jeff D. Lowe, he would have accepted. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then, then, well, I, I didn't No, know. I mean, you didn't no, give no, it to us. No, you didn't give it to so us. So we okay. won't take it. But Because like it is wrong. A place beyond. It's the place beyond the pines. It's not a godfather. It's the godfather. Okay. Well, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cool. I'm just saying. Like, no, yeah. I know. It's wrong. Yep. Yeah. It's wrong. You, you, you tell like me I got to draw a line in the sand. Yeah, we're I'm not try, arguing. I'm drawing a line in the sand. We're not arguing. We, we just said we, ex- we yep. accept that it's wrong. Yep. Like, listen, I know you knew you knew the movie. There's no yes. explanation. We, we accept it's wrong. Okay. 
All right. Good thing, good thing we didn't get beyond. <laughs> I was really hoping you weren't going to get it, to be honest. No. Okay. Still 3 2, Rhea and Fran. This is question number 11 to Liza and Kendall. Shout out Matt from Marlboro, New Jersey. During Jeopardy's run of guest hosts in 2021, what female served as the first guest host of the show? Why did I immediately think like Sophia Vergara or Tyra Banks? Oh, those are both two guesses. Very good guesses, actually. Uh, I'm trying to think of like who it would. 15 seconds. I don't think there's like a category that would just kill you. You say woman? Yes. I think we're really small. Five seconds. What do you want to guess? I'm like Sophia Vergara. I feel like I would know that, but all right, go. <laughs> Sophia Vergara, final answer. Incorrect. <laughs> Sophia Vergara <laughs> hosting, hosting Jeopardy yeah. would be laugh out loud funny. Um, I, so Mayim Bialik was like a guest, but then she became like the permanent. I, I'm torn because I also think Katie Couric did it. Go with your gut. Just read me the question again. During Jeopardy's run of guest hosts in 2021, what female served as the first guest host of the show? I don't think Maya was the first one. I'm going to go Katie Couric, final answer. Correct. Nice. Mm. Nice. Yeah, Sophia Vergara was a wild yeah. call. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back. Looking back. You can tell we're not big yeah. Jeopardy people. Okay, 4-2. Rianne Fran, this is question number 12 to them. Shout out Maggie from Houston. To what state did Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie travel to for in The Simple Life? Wisconsin? Let's go with that. I, I don't know. If that was your first that guess. That was just the first thing that you came Or Oklahoma? Head. Nebraska. Nebraska. I, I, I don't seconds. recall. I feel like it was... Southern, more south. I like Nebraska. Or, Ten seconds. Or Oklahoma. But you said Wisconsin so fast. I know, but I, I don't know where that came from. Let's go from. with Nebraska. Okay. Mm, I don't know why. All right, like time. All right we're going to Nebraska. Final answer. Incorrect. <sighs> to Liza and Kendall. Damn. Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin's, like, it sounds like it's random. Wisconsin's just not random to me. It's because I live in Chicago. <laughs> mm. Uh Kansas. I know, I don't hate Kansas. Or like one of the Dakotas. 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds? Okay. Um, we can just do Wisconsin. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Wisconsin, final answer. Incorrect. Arkansas. Oh! No. That wasn't even, even on the radar. We didn't even get to Arkansas. That was not on the radar. <laughs> okay. 4 2 Ran Fran. Question number 13 to Liza and Kendall. Shout out Vanessa from New Hampshire. Name the Love Island UK season based on these contestants. Jack Fowler, Georgia Steele, Megan Hansen. Is this us? No. no. So. no. Alright. I base everything off of Molly May's season, which was five. And I think I want to say Georgia Steele was a year after her. 15 seconds. I'll go Season six, final answer. Incorrect. Season four. 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 Right. I was going to oh. say either three or four, but I think oh, four. four. Yeah. Season four, final answer. Correct. Oh. Um, ser series four. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they, they say? Yeah, they series. say they say series. Okay, that seals a victory, too. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I didn't think we were headed there. I'm not going to lie. We did no. not start off strong. No, ex <laughs> after extendo ears, I didn't feel good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, missing can't. Uh, Push it to, push it to the yeah. limit is it's yeah, really yeah. Tough. It's really for everybody. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. 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 No, that's a loss. Okay, we'll continue with the last two questions. Question number fourteen to Rian Fran. Shout out Anna from St. Louis. What does Michael Scott eat for lunch on the office that makes him fall asleep? This is our question. Yeah, I don't know, like a turkey sandwich. What does Michael Scott eat where? For lunch. For lunch on the office oh. that makes him fall asleep. Oh, God. I, I have no, no idea. Clue. Let's say a turkey sandwich. Sure. Turkey sandwich. Incorrect. <laughs> to Liza Kendall. I think, is this one specific episode? Yes. I think it's his birthday cake. 
I'm, I'm replaying it because Pam's like doing the interview and she's like, yeah, every year he eats his birthday cake before noon and he falls asleep. Okay, I'm going to lock in birthday cake. Incorrect. A whole chicken pot pie. That'll put you to oh. sleep. <laughs> yeah. close, close. Sounds good and, and like it'll put you to sleep. <laughs> um, okay, final question. Question number 15. Shout out Elizabeth from St. Louis. I do actually have some exciting news about Elizabeth from St. Louis. Oh, please tell. She, because uh, she heard me say, talk about last time about Hallie from Clemson looking for mm-hmm. a, another strong partner. So they're, they're, they're going to pair she, up. She was they're already scheduled, up? but she said, I was just oh, going to find someone. She di- oh, she didn't have someone. Well, she said, I, yeah, that, I didn't really have a partner set. So like, she oh my can join God. my team. It's going to be the matchup wow, of the so century. when's that coming? That will be in August. Wow. wow. So she kind of cut, honestly, good for Hallie. She got to cut the line. Cool. How, are you, um, how are you going to possibly build a show without being able to yeah. use either of their questions? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to need um, Lizzie and Ren probably to come yeah. back. Yeah, right. okay. <laughs> I was going to say College Station needs yeah. to step up. <laughs> um, okay. In Vanderpump Rules, what is the famous line Brittany tells Jax when she finds out he cheated on her? This is ours, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, we're not Bravo girls. No. Let's say, like, we are never, ever getting back together. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, yeah. Why not? C- correct. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, no, that's wrong. It's oh, um, doesn't she uh, say like something about I hope you rot in yeah, rot in hell, rot in hell. I hope I you rot, you in, rot hell. in hell, Jax Taylor. Yeah, yeah, rot in hell. Yeah, yeah. Correct. That <laughs> and, and they make sure to spell it with a W. Rot. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right, six two. Final uh, score. Wow. Three and Fran. Really ran away with that one. I was yeah. not expecting it that. It was two nothing. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. They, they had the yeah, lead. We're gonna, they had we're the lead. We're not going to be able to sleep yeah. tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, that's okay. It was a great game. Thank you guys so much for playing and thanks for finding yes. a spot with thanks service. Thanks for making it work. Yes. Sorry, you had to run around everywhere. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, when you get a chance, can you send Noah your address and sizes, and we'll send you guys some merch. Yes. yes. Thank cool. you. Awesome. Thanks All right. Thank you guys so guys. much. Yeah. Enjoy Florida. Bye. I'll talk later. Bye. Bye. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. We hope you have an amazing weekend. And you know what? Tune in on Monday just to find out Who what's, knows what'll what's happen. to happen on Monday. Who knows? We'll find out then. Love you. Ta-ta for now.